I, in this part, we will quickly look at classification. There are different ways of doing classification. In this part, we will focus on how it is done in Snowflake. Please subscribe. This channel is all about helping you with AWS, Azure, and GCP cloud certifications. Plus, we have so many content around generative AI and leading technologies. Imagine you are uh, running a hotel, something like Hayat, and this hotel has a lot of data. What are those data sets? They have loyalty program data, and these under this data points, they have tire status, transaction history, and so on. So this has to be classified as confidential because this is specifically for Hayat. Similarly, they have marketing and sales data, but marketing and sales data is not confidential it is internal use classification that's how the classification changes now then they have guest pii data these pii are highly sensitive data that is how it is classified and this is very important from a compliance standpoint gdpr ccp etc if you are not going to classify what will happen you will be sitting under fire because a lot of data can get compromised what if it gets compromised what happens so it will be a mess so the first thing you have to understand is if we classify, where do we store the data? The classified tags, where do we store? We usually store it in the metadata. So the results of classification, including the assigned tags, are stored in metadata in Snowflake. This part, we are purely looking from Snowflake perspective because Snowflake has introduced automated classification recently. Now, how do we classify data? There are two ways of doing it. Traditionally, we do manual classification, but Snowflake has also introduced automated classification. With classification, we try to do data discovery and governance. So we identify the sensitive data. We enable target security policy. This helps us to build complementary security layers, and it increases the depth in the defense, data defense. And encryption is not always possible. So at least the first thing we need to know is which are the data sets that need encryption or tokenization. And that is how classification helps. If you do classification, you can protect the sensitive data, you can identify it first. And within Snowflake, you can also do a manual effort. But you know, we will also try to compare which one is better. Okay, if we classify, what are the benefits of classification? It increases your data governance by automatically classifying organizations. They have a better visibility now. Hey, how many data we have which is confidential? which is PII and so on. So this improves the visibility in uh, effective data governance perspective to implement appropriate controls and policies. See, if you even don't know what sort of data you are studying, how will you implement controls and policies? Once we classify it, you know that these are confidential, these are PII and so on. So you will use different policies for securing compliance support. The other benefit is automatic classification will help you comply with various privacy regulations, which includes PIIA also. So this ability, you can apply tags, you can create masking policies to ensure sensitive data is not compromised. Classification also helps you to automate the security measures. What it means, you can apply, automatically apply user-defined tags, you can automatically apply masking policies to columns, whichever are sensitive. This automation, it is appropriate for consistently applying the policies, this will reduce the risk of data breaches and compliance violations. So if you don't want to miss the compliance, so you have to do this. Imagine RBI in India, they do a lot of you know compliance regulations. So State Bank of India, ICCI Bank, and so on, they have to comply to it. So it will help automatically to comply to the RBI regulations in case of Indian banks. Okay, fantastic. Now we understood what are the benefits, why should we do classification. Now let us understand automated classification in Snowflake. How does it work? We will just cover at a very high level. But we will also ensure you understand key nuances of how to do it. So this is the basic flow. If you see, this is step one, step two, step three, step four. These are four basic steps. We first have to create a classification profile. The next step is optional. You can use this classification profile to map user defined tags. The third step is you can add a custom classifier. For example, you don't want to use automatic rules set within Snowflake. You have your own rules for classification. 
this is optional but you can do it you can create custom classifications and once you have done it you set the classification profile on the schema so that the tables under that schema gets automatically classified these are the four key steps okay now how to set this up in snowflake so setting up the foundation you have a governance database you consider establishing dedicated governance database first to house these classification profiles once you have done it you apply permissions so you can ensure necessary privileges are there uh, what you have to do you grant roles like classification admin and apply tags on the accounts this will give necessary permissions for classification and then you create a classification profile you define the profile you use uh, these commands classification profile command to create a profile then then you do key configurations like min object age for classification days you set the minimum age you then determine how often snowflake reclassifies for example once a month or once in three months and then you can enable auto tagging if you want to do that you can tag the auto tagging is required because some data sets will be tagged as pii some as confidential some as internal use etc and once that is done you can also do tag mapping okay now we want to focus on this one also there is an option to create custom classifier if you have your own set of rules you can develop the custom logic you can do you can do that and then you can integrate that with the profile so how do we initiate the automatic classification process you apply the profile set on the schema you alter the schema to apply the classification profile and this initiates the automatic classification process for that uh, table sets under that schema okay once the classification process is done you want to review the classification results how to do that in snowflake so to review the results you have to do two steps this, this is step one this is step two these are the two steps use this command uh, the stored procedure to retrieve the classification results and then you can also review results by curing the data classification latest view so you can do both either you execute this code procedure or you go to this view and see within the account with the schema you can check if the uh, results are satisfactory or not see it's like snowflake has already done the classification now you are going and checking hey are the classifications done as per your satisfaction or not did it miss anything do you want to reclassify so on see whenever i use automation i always try to think is it better than manual classification what will be the impact on compute of snowflake will it take more compute less compute see manual classification will take less compute because snowflake is not doing classification your brain is doing it manually you are doing it that is why it does not directly consume snowflake computes okay so but it is very time consuming as a manual effort a lot of people are required to classify and so on so the inefficiency is there now in order to make it in, uh, efficient you should use automatic classification the manual process can also be inconsistent and prone to errors okay fantastic so which one is more efficient manual or automatic see more efficient automatic is more efficient but if you just talk about less compute manually you are doing it because instead of snowflake compute your brain is doing that so, but from an efficiency standpoint automatic classification is designed to be efficient read this snowflake has designed this service to be as cost effective as possible so that it uses very less compute and it is very accurate and consistent okay folks so now you no longer have to sit under fire and develop things or do things your data can now be classified and secured Please subscribe to this channel. This channel will help you with AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud certifications and a lot of technology insights. In this part, we looked at classification and the benefits of automatic classification. This was specifically focused on Snowflake automatic classification. If you have any suggestions, please drop in your comments. Stay tuned. We will post many more such parts.